We're here at the National Air and Space Museum, which attracts millions of visitors every year, many of them children. We had a chance to chat with some of them about their take on space exploration. When it comes to the imagination of children, the sky is the limit, especially if it has to do with space. Ten-year-old Olivia Palmieri is no exception. Changing the world by how you can do stuff in space, like going to see the other planets, that would just be really cool for me. For two Chinese astronauts, it's not just cool, but reality. They're the crew on board the Shenzhou 11 spacecraft, where they will carry out experiments for more than a month. A bit too long up in orbit, if you ask some. I could last a few weeks, maybe, yeah. <laughs> not, not very long. Time, just one of the challenges kids say astronauts have to deal with. It would just be difficult for me to be alone, to be alone for my family for a long time. It interests me, but I don't really want to go because I'll be away from my family and uh, all my friends, and I don't want to. I wouldn't want to leave them. These would-be explorers say a short stint might be more doable as long as you're prepped with the right supplies. Probably some of my favorite foods because I love, like, I can't like go a few days without some of my favorite foods. Maybe like a dog, see if it could live up there. I went like a fish, maybe. To these kids, the Chinese astronauts and others after them could launch a universe of limitless possibilities. It's just crazy to think there's a whole different solar system out there. It's just crazy. I hope that one day that we can like build houses or something and be able to stay on the moon or Mars. As this museum shows, space exploration has a rich past spanning decades, and the launch of the Shinzo spacecraft will undoubtedly take its place in the history books. Francis Coe, CCTV, Washington.